Hi, this is Shannon from SIS4Teachers.org. I cannot wait for my math friends to check out this mystery math mistake. I am going to use partial products with the area model. It's a really great way to solve doing multiplication when you do a two digit by two digit, especially if you're newer to solving it and maybe don't understand yet how to do it with the traditional method. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make my area box. I'm gonna make this one a little bit larger because it's gonna represent my tens and over here, I'm gonna make it represent my ones. I'm gonna decompose the 27 and make it 20 and seven. And then I'm going to decompose my 23 into three and 20. Now you could do it either way. You could put the three here or the 20. I just like to do it that way, but either way would still be correct. I'm gonna start off doing my multiplication by going across here. I know that seven times three is 21. And then I'm going to do my three times 20 or three groups of 20, I know equals 60. So across here, I know that I have the total of 81. Next, I'm gonna go across and do 20 times 20, which I know equals 40. And then I'm gonna do 20 times seven, which I know equals 140. When I add this together, my 40 plus my 140, I know that I end up with 180. I'm gonna try to line up my place values here so I can see it. Eight plus 80 plus 80 is 160, so I'm gonna bring my 100 over. 100 plus 100 is 200. So I know that 27 times 23 is 261 using partial products with the area model to demonstrate my knowledge in multiplication. It's your turn to stop the video and decide, was there a mystery math mistake? Solve the problem in our recording sheet the way you saw me solve it. Then in the second box, you're going to solve it the way that you think it should be solved. On the back of the paper, I want you to write and tell me where the mystery math mistake was as to maybe where I went wrong in the process. Again, I believe that 27 times 23 equals 261, and I was able to prove it on my area model with partial products. I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are on our mystery math mistake. Thanks so much for joining us.